हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन स्पोकन इंग्लिश क्लास इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी शैल लर्न अबाउट सम मोर यूजेज ऑफ द प्रपोजिशंस एट ऑन एंड इन द प्रपोजिशन एट इज यूज्ड टू रेफर टू अ स्पेसिफिक टाइम such as clock time or meal time like we say at 8 am at breakfast etc for example prashant got up at dawn then the preposition at is also used to refer to the weekends for example what are you doing at the week end let us read some more usages of the preposition at please repeat after me swati bought this at rupees 100 Jaya is good at mathematics. Ritu is at work. Alok was appointed at my request. the preposition on is used to refer to exact dates or days like we say on 15th march on birthday on anniversary on the day of examination and so on i am reading the examples please repeat after me I will leave for Germany on Monday. People light candles and diyas on Diwali. We moved to this house on 24th January 1967 Let us read some more usages of the preposition on Please repeat after me The vehicles run on petrol and diesel on my way to office i saw a beggar the labor union is on strike today the preposition in is used to refer to longer durations like weeks months years seasons decades and centuries i am reading the examples please repeat after me akbar ruled india in the 16th century ad gardens look beautiful in the spring
in is also used to say how long an activity takes. For example, Columbus crossed the Atlantic in 70 days. Let us read some more usage of the preposition in. Please repeat after me. He is in good health. Rohit is in the railways. The woman in white sari came to meet me. Please note that there are also exceptions to the rules. Please remember the following exceptions. We say in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, but we say at noon, at midday, at dusk, at dawn, at night, at midnight. Let us recapitulate. In this module, we mainly learnt about the usage of the prepositions at, on and in in reference to time. At is used for telling the exact time. On is used for telling exact dates and days. In is used to refer to a longer duration like weeks, months, years, seasons, decades, centuries. Please note there are also exceptions to the rules above and one should practice the usage for getting used to the correct prepositions. Thank you.